would you do anything for that custard pie? Well, today, we're going to dial in that custard pie. And this is probably one of the easiest Led Zeppelin rhythms you can learn to play. Because what you just heard in that intro was the entire song. You learn to play that, you'll be able to play the entire rhythm of that song. It's that easy. Jimmy Page kept the things really simple sometimes. And if you got a double album and you got it right, sometimes you got to keep those songs simple. So let's get to it. Where is my guitar? Wait a minute. I got an idea. There it is. All right. Now we're ready to go. Today I'm using this Squire Affinity Telecaster Deluxe. Got HH going on here, like the Deluxe do. And if you haven't picked up a Squire Affinity guitar in a while, since 2021, they have really stepped up the game on this guitar. And they've put these cool split shafts, vintage type tuners in here that are really good. They've got a full size nut in the neck. Other, you know, not like it used to be. It used to be like a 40 millimeter. And they've finished the headstock in a nice glossy finish. It looks more professional. They're still not quite as thick as a regular Telecaster, but they are string through now. And they've got all sorts of affinity Telecasters. It's crazy. And they're a little more expensive, but. You, you get what you pay for. And I'm going to do a review on this one sometime. And so now you're just going to get an early demo of it. So without any further delay, because I'm talking too much, let's get right into this. we got our sterile tone going on here. Let's look at our chain. Okay, today we're going to use the chain one. And it's just, it's better chain to use. You can use chain one or chain two. Chain two is a little brighter, but we're going to use chain one. And up in our system here, I've got the Ribbon 121 microphone going, 10 centimeters and 4 centimeters. And if you want to put it on record, you can put it on record. It's going to sound uh, a little brighter, but that's up to you. That's only for line out. If you're playing it through that, it's going to sound more like it's going to sound on recording. So you might have to tweak things a little bit. That's what we're using the system settings. The amp type we're going to be using is a crunch amp, and we've got it set to gains kind of high right now. We're going to dial that back down because it's too much. We're going to dial it down. I, I like 15, but 17 seems more like a comfortable medium because 15 sounds... It's right on the edge of breakup. And if I go to 20, it's just too much. So I find it a 17 is like a comfortable medium on that. We're going to bump up that volume so you can actually hear what's going on here. We're going to do it about 88. And as far as the bass and middle and treble went, I just kind of bumped everything up just a little bit. I gave it a little more bass, a little more mids, and uh, let's see, yeah, a little more treble. We're using the vintage cabinet, and we're bumping that presence up to about 72-ish, 71, just to give it a little more of that chiminess to it. So those are our panel settings. No uh, global EQ or contour going on, no solo. And let's move on right to the boost. So we got our boost, and I am going to use the Centaur, Centaur, the Centaur Clon, Clon Centaur. It's, it's a clone of the Clon. Anyway, if you haven't updated your amp to the latest firmware and tone studio, then you're not even going to have this. So I highly suggest you do. But you can, you don't. It's not necessary. You can use the regular overdrive right here. You just have to kind of be picky with it, and you might have to dial in a little better. I like the Centaur because it's got more treble to it. Oh, up here in Variation, we're going to use the Variation for the Crunch. That just gives it more of a little treble boost to it, too. And we got the booster. We got the Klon going on uh, Drive. We're going to leave that about there. We're going to bump up the tone here. Uh, let's see, about 3 and about 9 or 10 on the bottom. And effects level up to about 50. Let's hear how we're sounding. We can almost get away with that. I need to turn the guitar up just a bit. That's better. You might notice I'm using a different microphone tonight. That other one I have, the PreSonus, it's a PD-70. It's great for singing, but not so much when I'm doing this because you can hear me strumming on the guitar. You can hear the string noise. So... I got this cheap piece of crap, a uh, little Shure PG48. It's it's like a $30 microphone, 
and it works great for talking so and it doesn't it's not as sensitive so i got to kind of get close to talk to it so if, if i'm right on top of it talking too loud i'm sorry i'll try to regulate that when i go to in post edit it won't even know so now that we got our boost dialed in let's go over to our mod now custard pie has a lot of layered guitars in it uh probably like two or three and maybe more i don't know i know i can count at least three different guitars playing when you listen to it so we're going to layer this one using a chorus. And I'm going to dial things down here. I'm going to hit that direct mix right up to 100. And I got the, the crossover frequency at 630 hertz. It's just kind of what I dialed in that sounded right. I can't tell a huge difference when I'm turning that one. But I got the low levels cranked back to about 46 on both of them here. And then the, the low pre-delay I've got at 2.5 milliseconds on both of them. And then the high depth, I've got these cranked way down to uh, 13 on the low and 20, or 13 on the high and 20 on the low. And then the low rate down to 15, because I don't want that whole super harmonic sound to it. I just want that harmony sound to it. I just want like a layered sound to it. So let's play it without the chorus. And let's hit that chorus. Sound a little a little more full, a little more layered. So it sounds like there's more guitar being played right there. Now, in the FX, I have got a graphic equalizer going on. And if you want to know how I acquired that, I'm not going to go through the whole thing on this video. But up here, over here, there's a card on it. And you can watch that video and learn how I do it. It's not perfect, but it'll kind of get you in the bar park of the guitar being EQ'd and round everything out. So with that said, I'm going to speed this up, and I'm just going to show you what we got going on here. I got minus 6 going on the 31. On the 62, I got minus 3. The 125, I've got 0. Minus 1 on the 250. Minus 1 on the 500. We're going to leave the 1 kilohertz at 0. Minus 2 on the 2 kilohertz. On the 4 kilohertz, I've got it dialed down to minus 3. 8, I've got minus 7. And lastly, minus 8 on the 16. You probably won't even, ever even hear the difference on this one, no matter how up and down I go. But let's see how we're sounding right now. Without it. With it. Just kind of rounds out the sound, takes a little bit of the edge off. We need a little volume, so let's bump this up to about 6, 7, or 8. Let's let let's go to 7. That's a comfortable medium on there, because I think I liked 6, but I had it at 8 one time. So 7, 7 will work. We are just about there. Let's get a reverb going on here. Now, I just wanted a simple, very short, very subtle reverb. So I'm going two seconds on the reverb time. I'm leaving that at right at 10. I'm leaving the low cut at 4 and the high cut at 6.30. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. Density at 5. And I'm going to dial the level back to about 30. So you just barely hear the reverb. So that's it. I The only other setting I have on this thing is I've got the noise suppressor turned on, and that's just to cut some noise from my monitors, because otherwise you'll hear a little buzz. But I don't have any kind of, believe it or not, I don't have any kind of parametric EQ going on today. Nothing. And that's it. I've got a boost, I've got a chorus, graphic equalizer, and reverb. I kept it simple this time. you got to keep it simple with uh, old classic rocks. So that's it. Let's play it one more time, and we're going to turn off the mic.
That's going to do it. If you want to download this tone without having to dial all this nonsense in, check the description. I've got a link to my Dropbox and my Google Drive in there. It's the same thing. It's called, I think, Zed Leplin. And that's the name of the live set. And the name of the actual tone is Custard Pie. If you sat here with me and watched and dial in, don't forget to hit that right button and write it somewhere on your amp so you don't forget it. And that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.